Uh, at this point, I would one word say awesome. It is quite awesome. The organization, the amount of people involved, the size of the festival, the number of theaters, uh, the range of films. Uh, it's way more than I expected. And we went to do a rehearsal for the red carpet ceremony and you know the opening tonight. And uh, I was just flabbergasted at the uh, theater. You know, it's just amazing. It's like the grand opera theaters of Europe. Uh, it's a spectacular space and that the festival needs and uses a space that size and grandeur uh, makes me think uh, film is alive and well in China. <laughs> thought about whether those, you know, someone doing a Instagram or TikTok kind of quickie, uh, if those are documentaries and I, th I think they're really uh, different and they're more uh, like headlines without the news so you just get my mother is very poor and she's starving to death you know that kind of just quick thing uh, and they're engaging and people enjoy them but I, I think they don't really replace what it's like to get involved in a situation and drawn into it it takes time to get involved in how someone's life unfolds. And yes, I think there is a decrease in patience, but it's not just uh, an impatience, it's a loss, you know, a loss of a, a curiosity in one way and a, a, a more willingness, willingness to accept uh, instant gratification or pleasure or feelings you know it's very quick but it's you know like drinking water you drink it and you feel satisfied because you were thirsty but then it's gone and you just continue and it's the need is satisfied for the moment but it's not like a seven course meal Well, I was thinking on the way over today for some reason, but you know, we have news and we have news programs and they tell us what's happening now. But one of the interesting things about news is it has no history. That is, what's on the news is what's new now. So, you know, like one of my other jurors is living in Berlin, but he's from Syria. And there was a civil war in Syria and it was in the news all the time and towns like Aleppo were being bombed and hospitals were being destroyed. You know, what is happening in Syria now, it's no longer news, it's history, because it goes back to then and we have to go back and see what's happened in the years since the war. Is the town rebuilt? Are the hospitals functioning? Are people happy uh, or not? So, you know, I think we have a we have a hunger and a need for things like documentaries that dig deeper into subjects to give us a feeling for what those subjects and what that history is. And I think you know, advertising, news, uh, those short type of uh, video, uh, Instagram, TikTok type things, they can't really do complexity. So I think documentaries take up that slack. You know, they help us. Uh, get an orientation to the world that helps us remember and appreciate the complexity.